<coughs> oh, jeez, that was a lot more rough than I anticipated. Feeling all dizzy now. Wait a minute, this is their house. <gasps> I did it. My invention worked. They all called me crazy, but who's crazy now? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's you. It's really you. Wait, no, don't freak out. I promise I can explain. But why would I leave? I've been waiting so long to finally meet you. That was the entire point of this invention. We have so much to talk about. Hold on. Just calm down. I promise I'll get out of your hair eventually. But I really want to spend some time with you first. You have no idea how much we have in common. Oh my gosh, they asked my name. <clears throat> my name is Reese Carpenter. The world's most genius inventor but more importantly i'm the world's biggest life of a human fan right i suppose you wouldn't know what that is sit tight because i'm about to give you the lowdown on the best show ever created oh i meant that literally i meant that literally you'll probably want to brace yourself life of a human is amazing I could ramble for hours and hours about how good the writing is, the incredible cinematography, the rich lore, and so much more. But my absolutely favorite part of the show are the characters. Oh my gosh, they're, they're so entertaining and deep. But they're relatable at the same time. Although, you'd know about the characters already. Because you are one of them. In fact, you're my favorite character. Come now. I wouldn't lie to you. I could never. See this device in my hand? It's my invention. I spent a solid five years working on this bad boy. The remote here lets me enter the world of any story I choose. Isn't it amazing? Well, I'd offer to give you a demonstration, but I'm not actually sure if it works for fictional worlds within fictional worlds. I'll need to do more testing. Oh, but if it did work like that, I'd be just like 30 layers deep. Ah, oh, that'd be so cool. Oh, that's another show I really like. Although, I don't like it nearly as much as yours. The life of a human is the greatest thing to ever grace television. Yes, you're my favorite character. I love you so much. Oh, I know everything about you. Everything about the show as a whole. To be honest, it's kind of my thing. I know your personality, backstory, fun facts, deep lore, everything. I'm even the top moderator of the Life of a Human fan wiki. And I've made sure that your page in particular is absolutely perfect. I figured you wouldn't believe me. Don't worry, though. I brought proof. See this? I've got merch. This here is the Life of a Human 10th anniversary figure of you. It was super expensive, but I had the funds thanks to my successful inventions. I normally keep it safe inside a display case, but I made sure to bring it because I knew a situation like this would happen. Wait, uh, I have more. This poster right here came with the special edition box set of seasons one through four. It has the logo in the center, all of your friends surrounding it, and look, there's you right there. These, oh, look at these. These prints are fan art I got from conventions. This one here was even signed by your voice actor. Isn't that cool? <laughs> are you sure you don't want to see more? I still have some t-shirts, pajamas, souvenir cups, keychains, and even my cosplay of you. Plus my 300,000 word fanfic about what happens to you after season 10. Uh, hey, I'm not a stalker. I told you, you are my favorite character in my favorite show. I know you have merch of your favorite characters. I don't see what's so strange about me doing the same. Of course you're a character. That's what I've been telling you. But that's not the main reason I came here. <laughs> um, I'm getting all shy now that it's actually time. Sorry. I think I need a minute. <sighs> Come on, Reese. You can do this. You've gone over this scenario hundreds of times in your head. You just have to say the words. <sighs> So, I told you that I wrote a fanfic about what happened after season 10. 
That's because Life of a Human was uh, canceled. I remember the day I heard the news. That was so many years ago, but I still feel crushed about it. And that show had ended on such a massive cliffhanger, too. No, I didn't come to ask you what happened. I've read and written enough fanfiction that I'm satisfied on that front. What I really wanted to say was, thank you. Thank you for being you. I've already said that you're my favorite character, but you're also my comfort character. I know what you've been through, and I relate to it. A lot of similar things happened to me in the past. It's been so hard to deal with, but seeing you still going after struggling so much inspires me. Whenever I'm struggling, I think back to you. I think back to how hard you've tried and the amazing things you've been able to accomplish. And that inspires me to never give up. I know that if you can get through it, so can I. Why do you keep saying that I'm just me? I mean, of course you are. That's exactly why I feel so encouraged by you. After all that's happened, you're still you. You've grown as a character over the many seasons of the show. Seeing you get better while still holding on to what makes you yourself inspires me to better myself too. Hey, I know you might not be real, but you've made a real impact. You're the reason why I'm still around today. The reason why I'm still inventing new technologies and the reason why I feel comfortable with myself. You've done so much good for me. You don't even know. And it's not just me either. You have thousands of fans out there who feel exactly the same way. Thousands of people who watched your story unfold and felt inspired to be better people. Not even a lot of real humans can say that. So don't ever feel bad about yourself, alright? You've done more than you could ever hope to know. Just... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Uh, I, I'm sorry if this is out of line, but can I give you a hug? Oh my gosh, I'm hugging them. I can't believe it. I'm actually hugging them. <laughs> sorry, I'm just fanboying really hard right now. <sighs> Never forget how much you mean to me, how much you mean to us, the fans. We're always cheering you on. Even if your show is over. <sighs> I suppose I'll be on my way now. Sorry for interrupting your day. I hope you don't mind too much. You really want to see me again? Are you sure? Oh my gosh, they just asked to see me again. Are you really becoming friends? Ooh, this is more than I ever could have hoped for. <clears throat> I promise I'll visit you again someday, alright? But first I need to get back and document my experience. Not to mention tune up the remote. I think I'll need a ton of upgrades before I'm able to do things like this regularly. Uh, yeah, I'll see you around. Remember, you have thousands of people cheering for you. You've always got your back, no matter what. And again, thank you. This was super cute. Oh my god. I love that. That I, this this is uh, this a uh, A1. Thank you guys for watching. Completely forgot to record the outro. I was just so excited after reading. Uh follow my friends. Uh follow my foes, adversaries, enemies, and thank you guys for hanging out. Bye. <laughs>